Recently, OnePlus rolled out Oxygen OS 10.04, OnePlus 5 and 5T devices, which is based on Android 10. In this video, we'll show you how to root your OnePlus 5 or 5T running Android 10 based on Oxygen OS. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So here you can see I have my OnePlus 5 which is right now running on the latest stable version of Oxygen OS which is based on Android 10 and Oxygen OS version is 10.0.0. In this video we'll be including unlocking bootloader then flashing TWRP recovery and later giving root access. Before starting the process make sure your device is charged more than 30% and also take a backup of your device because unlocking bootloader will entirely delete your internal storage. Once you have taken backup and if your device is charged more than 30% then go to settings, about phone, tap on the build number 7 times until you see you are a developer now. After that go back, go to system, go to developer options and from here enable OEM unlocking, advanced reboot and USB debugging. If you get any pop up, allow the permissions. And later connect your device to PC. Now moving on to the PC, here we need 3 files. One is ADB setup which is an exe file, magisk, right now the latest version is 20.4 and the TWRP image file. On OnePlus 5 and 5T, we don't require TWRP zip file. So first step is to install ADB drivers. Double click on this. A windows will pop up. Do you want to install ADB and passboot? Type Y and hit enter. Next option, install ADB system wide. Again type Y and hit enter. Then it will ask you to install device driver. Again type Y and hit enter. Another windows will pop up in that hit next. And if you see ready to use under status, that means you have successfully installed the ADB drivers. After installing ADB drivers, you will find an folder called ADB inside your C drive. If you are installing for the first time, you can see these 3 to 4 files will be available. But I have different devices, so I have different subfolders for my other devices. So today we will be rooting OnePlus 5. What you need to do is, you need to copy these two files inside the ADB folder. Copy these files and paste it here. All the download links will be given in the description below. Once you are done with that, now first step is to boot your device into fast boot mode. For that, press and hold power key and tap on bootloader if you have enabled advanced reboot. After your device boots into bootloader, here you can see device state is locked. So we haven't unlocked the device bootloader yet. After you have connected your device to PC, now it's time to check whether a device is properly connected or not. So here what you have to do is inside ADB folder where you have placed these files, you need to open up command prompt. To open up command prompt, easiest way is in the address bar type cmd and hit enter. This will open up command prompt. Now give a command which is fast boot devices and hit enter. If you see the serial number in the command prompt, that means your device is properly connected in fast boot mode. Now it's time to unlock the bootloader. To unlock the bootloader, command will be fast boot OEM unlock and hit enter. If you don't get any error over here, then you should have a pop-up message on your device asking you to select whether to unlock the device or do not unlock the device. You can use volume key to select and then press power key for confirmation. Now your device will boot into stock recovery, perform factory reset and boot into system. After your device boots up, you can complete the initial setup. No need to add any Google account or it's not even required to connect to Wi-Fi. Because once again we need to perform factory reset. After you have completed the initial setup, go again to settings, about phone. Again tap on build number 7 times until you see you are a developer now. After that go back, go to system, developer options, from here enable advanced reboot, you won't be able to turn off OEM unlocking because device bootloader is already unlocked. And then enable USB debugging. So first step we have completed which is unlocking bootloader, next step is to flash TWRP recovery. So again we'll boot a device into fast boot mode by long pressing power key and tapping on bootloader. After the device boots into fast boot mode, now under device state you can see unlocked. So we have successfully unlocked the bootloader. Now let's flash TWRP recovery. Again we'll check whether a device is properly connected in fast boot mode or not. For that use the same command which is fast boot devices and hit enter. So here you can see a serial number appears that means a device is properly connected in fast boot mode. Now let's flash recovery. For that copy the same name of the recovery control C and here you need to give a command fast boot flash recovery followed by recovery name 
and add .ing as it's a image file and hit enter. And here it says finished. That means TWRP recovery is successfully flashed. Now to boot into recovery, there are two ways. One method is you can use volume key and select recovery mode from here. And the second one is you can give a command that is fast boot, boot followed by the recovery name and add dot ing, hit enter. And now your device should boot into TWRP recovery. And here you can see a device successfully boots into TWRP recovery. Now first step is to go to wipe, format data, type yes and hit enter. Once this process is completed, go to the main home page, tap on reboot and select recovery. And once you are back again into TWRP recovery, go to your PC and now you need to copy the file which is of Magisk. Right now current version is 20.4. Copy this file, paste it inside the internal storage of your device. Now on your device, inside TWRP recovery, go to install and select Magisk. Swipe to confirm flash. Once Magisk is flashed successfully, now you can reboot your system. So a device have been successfully booted up, now you can complete the initial setup and if you want you can add your Google account. After completing the initial setup, we should have Magisk Manager installed. To check root access, download root checker application, tap on verify root and grant super user request. And here you can see it says root access is properly installed on your device. So guys this way you can root your OnePlus 5 or 5T running Android 10 based on Oxygen OS. If you still have any kind of questions let me know in the comment section below. This is your friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video.